Drake, can you uh, kind of describe the importance of, of uh, in this time right now, crisis, three straight losses, that kind of thing, uh, of leadership on this team and where it's going to come from? Yeah, leadership's definitely, I mean, it's essential right now. We need to show the younger guys that this isn't the end of the world. You know, we're going to keep working hard, going back to work, that we got to put that behind us and focus on Kansas now. And it's just going to be big for leaders like myself, Braden Willis, guys like Justin Boyles on defense, David Awebu, just older guys that have been there before, lost tough games before, just, uh, you know, leading the way and showing, showing everyone that this isn't the end of the world. What's just the overall mood of the team right now? I assume you feel like you've had some opportunities to get away at this point, but just the mood of the team. Yeah, I mean, I think obviously as competitors, we're all a little disappointed, a little frustrated. I mean, this is not how any of us envisioned uh, us starting the first six games of the season, but uh, we kind of put the game to rest today. We watched film yesterday, watched it again today, kind of went through it with the coaches, and then now it's time to put our best foot forward for Kansas, who's a really good football team coming in here Saturday. So today was Mental Monday, and we're, we're focused on that now. For you personally, you've been involved in this program forever. Uh, just to see where it's at now, how much do you really feel kind of the need to turn things around? Because this is something Oklahoma fans aren't used to. Yeah, I mean, just as, as a competitor, you don't like to lose. So I definitely feel the, the urgency to, to, to win football games, you know. It's, of course, we love to turn it around, but in the, the day, it just comes down to winning each game, going 1 0 each week. And, uh, you know, as a competitor, you never like to lose, so the goal is always to win. What have been some of the symptoms of, of why the offense hasn't clicked? Uh, I don't know, that's a tough, tough question for me. You might have to ask the coaches on that one, but. Uh, I mean, just I just try and do my job each play uh, in and out, and I think we're just we're not far off, but just trying to be better on you know third downs, trying to maintain drives longer, and then capitalize in certain opportunities like fourth and third down where it's uh, where it's really important to sustain those drives. I think that that would be a big big deal. When you go through last week and you know coach makes so many changes with the wildcat and things, what's it going to mean just to have Dylan back? Oh uh, yeah, it'll mean a lot. Uh, Dylan's obviously a great player, and he uh, he led us to a lot of. A real good start, you know, a real strong start, and his knowledge of the offense and his just his ability to to read the defense and, and throw the ball accurately is uh, definitely something we'll we'll enjoy having, and uh, I'm excited to see what he does. You guys run a pretty sophisticated offense. Is it fun to take a step back? I know 49 nothing is nothing fun about it, but to run that Wildcat stuff, yeah, uh, get was, out there and do some different things. Is that kind of cool? Yeah, it was pretty cool to kind of switch the game plan up a little bit and to to see our ability to do that and do it effectively at, at times. And so I definitely think that is something that could complement our offense as a whole going forward. Has Dylan communicated with the offense as a whole or the wide receiver group or anything like that? Just, I'm back and here's what we're going to do, anything like that? Yeah, um, we kind of all got together on Sunday and uh, spent some time together just talking through things, uh, just going over you know, what our goals are moving forward and just putting our best foot forward for Kansas, like I said. and. Uh, Really just keeping the locker room together and keeping us together as offense. Feel like that's tough to do right now? No, not really. Not when their whole world's counting you out and everyone's, you know, like, I mean, everyone's kind of crucifying you in the media and everything. It's kind of easy to stick together because we're all we got and we're all we need right now. And so it's easy for us to all sit together and have each other's back because no one else does. I think everybody, you know, recognizes, you know, the defense has been struggling, but how much can the offense help? I mean, getting Dylan back, getting into, For sure. like, like, no, Coach yeah. Levy said, you guys have had the problems getting into rhythm. Too. It's definitely, a, it falls on our shoulders as well. It's not just the defense. Um, we're putting them in tough positions at times, you know, whether it's turnovers or not sustaining drives and ha having them uh, have to be on the field for, for long periods of time and having to go right back out there if we go three and out, stuff like that. So. Uh, we got to play complimentary football, and when they get, uh, say, an interception or they get a good, good third, fourth down stop, we need to go compliment them and, you know, go score some points and sustain some drives and keep them off the field so they can rest a little bit. Drake's got to go. Anything just, else? just curious, do you get advice from your dad during times like this? Does he tell you, okay, we need to do this, be yeah. a leader, do this? What kind of advice do you get from Bob? Definitely just step up, be a leader. The guys need you right now. And, I mean, he's been there. He's been through tough losses before, so he knows, he knows how that can go and how you know, younger guys, stuff like that, need to be led and uh, understand this isn't the end of the world. So he just tells me to step up and be a leader. But at the end of the day, he's just there for me, always being supportive. So I appreciate that. Thanks, Drake. Thanks, Drake. Appreciate your time.